Hello guys and very welcome to this channel and to this video. Today I have decided to start this project up with my lithium battery pack to this city stromer that I bought this spring. So I have now driven it for a couple of days and the range is just terrible. I maybe have around 20 kilometers at the best and then I had one pack that was reversed in polarity. So well that battery bank is just trash. So I have a plan to build a 36S battery pack to my city streamer. And the last summer I did rip modules out from an Audi e-tron battery pack on 95 kilowatt hours and I am planning to use 12 of those battery modules and each and every battery modules are built up in a 3S configuration. And they are hauling 2.65 kilowatt hours each. So that will be around 32 kilowatt hours, but of course those cells are used. And let's say that I maybe can have at least 25 kilowatt hours in the end there that I really can use. And uh, well, that will be much better than it is today. I can only say that. <laughs> I really hope that. But uh, you never know. So uh, I will start this project up and guide you through it. And I hope you like it. Here we go, guys. So I start with the five modules and I will just check the voltage on each and every module here. So they are even and nice. So they are pretty fully charged, a little over four volts in each cell. And here I am measuring the modules to know how many I can fit in one space there. So my plan is to have as many as possible in front of the rear axle under this rear seat here. So I then realized that uh, I can only have four modules beside each other and then I will have four more on top of those because uh, I had to leave some space for those bus bars. So that's why I didn't have the possibility to have five batteries beside each other. And I now just attach some Velcro here so I can have them stuck on each other without sliding around and of course they will be bolted down later on but this is now when I am going to build them and do some testing and there will also be some space between the modules so that's good it's a win-win situation That's a flexible bus bar.
And now I asked to measure the bottom section here. Four modules at 48 volts. And here is the upper section. Or upper layer, 48 volts. And those will be hooked up in series later on, of course. And that's what I am doing here. So I am going to uh, create the bus bars between those two layers here. And this is a bus bar from a Volkswagen e up battery pack that I am using here. And I plan to have two of those bus bars so I have a really heavy duty bus bar here because we are going to pull a lot of amp out of those battery modules. I don't want any heat to build up here. So that's why I do two of them. And I have this wooden template that I use for this. And here I am just checking so the length of the bus bar is correct. And then I will install the bus bar on the lower module. And then of course fit it into the upper module like this. So here it is, the bus bar to the upper layer and now I am starting to do the work with the balance leads here. So my plan here is to use two BMSs, one on 24 cells and the other one on 12 cells. And I am using Dolly BMSs for this project and I am only going to protect my battery when I am charging it. And when I am using it and the driving, I am just going to check the voltage there so it won't drop too low. And I will also make sure to stop in time. And uh, I am doing this because uh, I am just going to have this for a couple of months. And this winter I will change the whole drivetrain out to a more modern one. And also the battery will be changed then to a high voltage battery pack. So that's why I am going to do it like this for now. Alright, all of the modules are now connected and uh, here you can see that I use one 24S BMS and uh, to that BMS I have two connectors. I don't know why but they have uh, done it like that, just so you know. So I will just start to measure all the cells so I have connected them in the right order here and make sure that you don't have too big probes so you expand the connector here too much. So I have very thin probes here and now I will just measure the first cell here. So let me bring in the camera. Now you can see that I have connected the most negative to the negative measuring pin or probe and uh, I am expecting to have 4 volts on this first cell of course because they are charged to a little over 4 volts 
and you can see we have 4.36 millivolts. And now we should have 8, and then 12, 15, or 16, 20, and so on, 24, what do we have, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44. You can see that we raise the voltage by 4 for each and every pin I move up here. 48, 52, 56, 60, 64. And then we take the next connector and we still leave the negative measuring pin there. What did we have there? 64, 68, 72, 76, 80, and 84. Perfect! They are connected in the right order. So now I safely can connect my DALI BMS to these connectors. And here is the second one. And we still should have no connection there. And here is the Bluetooth dongle. So now I just have to press that little button here to activate the BMS. So when I am doing that, hopefully the multimeter there will ring. Yeah. So then we know everything is correct here and the BMS is now active. Now we can open the app for this BMS and take a look at the cell voltages. Well, we have a delta voltage at 19 millivolts, and that's pretty good. Those battery modules have been standing for a while, so that's pretty good. And we have a fault alarm 1, and uh, I'm not really sure why, because I have set that warning to 4.2. That's when the BMS are going to turn off then, but I'm not sure why the warning comes up so early, actually. Maybe it's because I have removed three of those cells down here. You see that we only have 21 battery in that string. And uh, it's rated for 25 or 24. Okay, so now I have to do this one more time with the other BMS I have here. So I think I don't have to show you this one more time, right? So let's go on. And that will be everything for this video, guys. In the next video, I am going to install those battery modules into this Volkswagen City Streamer, and hopefully, everything will turn out just fine, and then we will do a quick little test drive later on. So, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope that I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.